This morning, uh, what we are going to do, we're going to fix issues with a idle speed controller. These problems are common on these 4.9 liters. You get one of these that wants to run bad. They want to be hard to start. When you start, they'll die almost instantly. Uh, hesitate. What you do is you take and pull uh, this the throttle position sensor or the connector to it. And if you look, you'll see that it'll gather a little bit of corrosion. Uh, you take Spray some brake cleaner in it. Or they make electronic cleaner, either way. And let that dry for a minute. And also, right here, for the uh, idle speed control, that will also corrode a little bit. Think spray a little in there. Clean, let that dry. While that's drying, take your hoses, take a screwdriver, and check the hoses. This isn't really much of an issue. That was loose. And let's look here. Oh, yeah, that one's loose, too. Of course, that's not really too much of an issue on these older ones like this, because these do not have a mass airflow sensor. Always make sure all the hoses go back to like they're supposed to. It should be dry enough. Uh, as I was saying, if you don't have a mass airflow sensor, the hoses aren't really that much of an issue. That's the hard one sometimes. Of course, it's not easy to do when... Uh, there we go. When you almost have to have a stool or something to stand on, which I don't have. Uh, so far, that looks good. I have a brake line leak that I'll have to tend to at some point. Fine. So now, so what I do is check and see if the repair that I made was successful or if I've just made it worse. Which I've done that before too. That doesn't good, but then again, it's only 23 degrees out here. Uh, the idle speed control still sticks a little bit. Probably needs, it probably actually needs a new one. 203,000 miles, so yes. the issue is you know you just undo this connector right there clean it put it back together it usually solves almost all the hesitation issues acceleration issues and it's 24 degrees so I'm going back inside where it's warm and thanks for watching